jar full of like notes that I wrote throughout the year and I, I had no idea that 2020 was gonna be the year that it was and I guess like I'm kind of glad that I decided to do this because as for a year that had a lot of notable negatives and like a lot of unfortunate events I feel like that this would help me see 2020 in like a better light so that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm dressed like this because I'm about to go to church so I wanted to like go through these before I went and yes this is my setup because the girl the floor is dirty so yeah It's gonna take me to open all of these, but... I'll read some of them that aren't like too personal, you know what I mean? So what I do is that I write whatever happens and then the date. That was a good thing. This video's gonna be so long. Mm. This was like a sad thing at first, but then I realized that it was a good thing. Got all A's, no B's for spring 2020. Highest GPA yet, smiley face. Did you guys have a lot of good things that happened to you in 2020? After introducing ourselves, she immediately was like, wow, you're so pretty. I just met this girl and she like gave me that compliment right off the bat and like that made me like really happy just felt super happy and a lot of good vibes today so this summer um, i was supposed to go to costa rica with vita i wanted to go but i really wasn't sure if i like could afford it financially and then um, i was talking with my cousin jody and she said that her husband had the idea that they were gonna pay for my flight to Costa Rica. They always support me in a lot of my decisions and they're my only family here on Oahu and like when I read that I just felt so happy and I was crying with tears because that was just like, I, I know that it didn't happen because of COVID so it was canceled but the fact that they were gonna do that for me just meant so much. It says, Dad said, I am happy when I hear you laugh. I don't like it when you're sad. <laughs> Why did I write this? When surfing for the first time in my life at Waikiki and in White Plains. So fun. You know, I think outfit compliments are the best compliments. My outfit is something that I chose, you know, that I picked out for myself and that I like because for other people to like what I was wearing that I feel comfortable in and that I feel that I like look good in, then that just means so much to me. Had a long conversation with Kylie, talked about a lot of stuff. A lot of my professors bought the cookies for the fundraiser for the Vita trip. The support was real, I was shook. Even from high school, my old camp professor, he bought cookies. I was shook. Finally got to buy my own pair of AirPods. I said, not sure if I wrote this already, but I had such an amazing 20th birthday. Felt loved and blessed. Spontaneous adventures. Everything that makes you happy should be good should be. Went to the beach with Tabby, Mario, and Kylie. Haven't seen them since December. Volunteered with Newman Center at Auntie Carmen's Kitchen. Very nice slash fulfilling spiritually. Came back to the dorms after winter break and Kylie bought me a cookie from Cookie Corner. Today was a day where I felt really good about myself, more than usual, mentally, spiritually, and physically. Went to up country, ate a really good taro burger at Ulu Palakua. Went to the beach, Target, and Ryan brought his cookies. 10 out of 10 views, save people, hashtag good day. 
Oh, this one really took me by surprise. We only had that one class together and then she sent me like a DM on Instagram so it says she was thankful for meeting me because I helped her get back into her culture. Like that just really blew my mind because I never really like, thought twice about asking her to like take the Ilocano placement exam with me. The fact that it made such a huge impact on her life. I can't explain like how I felt, but it was just like a good thing. A lady came up to me in Target and said that my top was really cute and that she liked it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop there because I have to get ready for mass. I'll come back after and finish all this. Two hours later. Hello, so I just came back from church. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this. It's gonna be a long video. Finally hit my goal weight. This is July 7th, 2020. Kylie commented on how well my birthday video was edited. That meant a lot. Oh wow, so many blessings this year. It's easy to forget it because of all the things that happened. Oh wow. Hmm. Decided to actually do something and not study for Halloween. It makes me really happy when people decide to randomly FaceTime me all of a sudden because it's like, wow, you thought about me and you wanted to talk to me. You know what I mean? Like, I was worth, like, your time. Biochem final went better than expected. Kylie and I ordered cereals for our last Moinani dinner together. I dressed up in a nice outfit today and I felt really good about myself. And this girl came up to me and said, I don't mean to bother you, but I like your skirt. I was so happy after she said that. The Target lady said she liked my pants. John Lee, Diane, and Jamie bought me a 24 pack of bang for my birthday. LOL. Popeye's chicken sandwich. Becca, if you see this, you're a real one. <laughs> the lady at the market said she loved my floral bands. Finished watching all the episodes of Attack on Titan. I can't believe I did that. I'm very surprised with myself. Almost done. You know, every time I see my friend Rita, she was in like my chem labs. I, she used to live on campus, but not anymore. And I'm like, every time I see her, she's just the nicest person ever. And she said she noticed my outfit from afar and that it was iconic. Got an A plus on my Oakham midterm. I was so stoked. My anthropology professor was so nice. She made my morning about this one email that she appreciated my hard work in the class. See, I really love professors who are not in STEM because I feel like they're way more nicer to their students and it feels like they actually care about you. Oh, this one. Okay, so I asked Ryan if I could come down to Holly Mahana to print. And when I went, there wasn't any like paper. And I was like freaking out because I didn't know what to do. And this guy walked in and he was gonna print some things too, but I told him that there wasn't paper. And he went back to his room and got a bunch of like paper. <laughs> Bought cozy shoes and socks for my cold feet. <laughs> Started reading a book for the first time since high school, lol. Aww. I feel like I'm just going through my whole year with you guys. Oh yes, the macadamia nut wall solder from Leonard's. It is my favorite now. Woke up and was happy with my body. Felt kind of happy about it. Ate a good breakfast. Avery said my title was clever. Oh yeah, when people send you like songs to listen to or like playlists and they say like I hope you like it, like like isn't that like so nice? Like of course I'll listen to it, of course. I don't know why, but last semester I would finish my lab assignments but I wouldn't turn them in. I just was just like okay I'm done with this and I'd forget to turn them in and I like finally realized after like a few weeks that I wasn't doing it and I emailed my lab TA about it. So she graded my worksheets even though that was her policy to not do it but she did it anyway. So God bless Sitara. Had three meals, a dessert, and a midnight snack. Didn't feel bad about it and didn't have the urge to binge. Progress? I think so. Gayla said she would use to admire how committed I was to my class in high school. I laughed so hard today that I could not breathe. Tita made me a pan of pico because she knew it was my favorite. 
Finally came back home to Maui. It was so nice to see my family again. Ryan said he thought of me when he went to Costco and saw birthday cake granola. Then he said he was inspired by me to write daily spam posts and that he lives for my posts. I just feel super happy all of a sudden. Dancing around my apartment with J-pop playing because no one is around. Got all A's except for one A- minus for spring 20. Kylie paid for my birthday cake and gave me bucket hats. Created a foodie account with Crystal at Ying Yang Dogs. So yeah, um, that was all the good things that happened to me in 2020 despite COVID, despite all the personal problems I've had, the stress and everything. And I feel like all of this was just a reminder that, you know, more often than not, life is good. And I am always grateful for my life and I'm always grateful for the people who are around me. I hope that 2021 has double this amount of good things. There's one more. For one of my blogs for Public Health 203, we had to write a reflection on the semester. And one of my classmates responded to my post and she said, Despite the hardships you must have gone through, you made it through. Let us both find the strength to shake off bad habits and continue into the next semester. Good luck in biochem. When I read that, I like was crying. And I feel like for 2021, I want to be more like those people who do things so selfless and so, but I want to make sure that I make positive impacts on people and in the world. And I feel like that's the only thing that I could ask from 2021. And yeah, so I hope for a good one. I hope that all of you have a good one. Um, I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Spread only good vibes. And yeah. Thank you.